Hi there Captains, in today's video we're going to take a look at a battle with the Tier 9 German Tech Tree Cruiser, the Rune. While we take a quick look at the equipment and commander skill setup, one point to note is that the Rune is not a historical ship. She is in fact based on the K variant of the Hipper class. And so the matchmaking has given us an all Tier 9 and Tier 10, so it should be a good example of the Rune. Now on the Greece map with this spawn point, my default strategy is to take up a position where I can fire on the enemy to prevent their advancement from D to our C cap. In a cruiser then, the main point is to not give up the ship in trying to push across to the D cap. What you'll notice in stepping up from the hip to the rune is the change in the turret arrangement whereby Hipper was a 4x2 arrangement the Rune is a 3x3 with two turrets aft and one forward so she does gain an extra barrel so with this emphasis towards the guns at the rear I'm going to take a stern in position with some island cover to shield me from incoming fire so looking at the chat our Oster Jutland is asking for some help with the Udeloid if spotted. If the Udeloy is spotted between myself and the Takahashi that's alongside me here, we should be able to put enough HE downrange to persuade the Udeloy to back off. Let's see how the battle picture emerges. Okay, this looks like a good picket position. Let's get stern in, ready to fire on whoever is spotted. And there is the Udeloid. Right, let's see what discouragement we can offer to the Udeloy. Uh, shots in from myself and the Takahashi, and there you go, he's turning away and smoking up, so we've done the job that Asta was asking for. And that position that Takahashi's taken up now wouldn't be my choice this early in the battle. Okay, I have no sight in a Voodaloy now, but here's another target of opportunity, the Baltimore. Got H away at the moment, but let's see what this AP is capable of. And look, my positioning behind the island means that I can do so without taking incoming fire because I'm undetected. There you go, Citadel and 9k damage. I'm happy with that. Baltimore's gone dark, so let's switch target to the Pullman and see if we can farm some damage on her. The ideal would be to get some fire started. Nope, I'm not getting the shots over the island from this point to hit the bottom. Also, let's go back to Palmer. <laughs> Having said that, it looks like Baltimore's pushing, so let's get around the island, see if we can get another shot on the Baltimore. she blows let's see what we can do here then delete yes 
and this is what the German heavy cruisers can bring you. Here we go, another Citadel, 6,000 damage, love it. Oh, and again, another 8,000 damage. Okay, we have two Petro Pavlovsk at the moment that are starting to push down the 910 line towards the decap of the enemy. And at the moment, we're looking like we have control over the A-cap, although we haven't started to push there. So I'm thinking here at the moment, I'd like to take a position that's more between B and C. Let's start to move in that direction and see how the situation develops. Meanwhile, let's try to get some more fires on the Mecklenburg. We're looking good at the moment, a 350 point lead. We've got a four ship advantage. We're starting the push on B cap now. So let's see if we can get that destroyer out of there. We've started capping B, now can we keep that rue pressed away long enough to complete the cap? I'm not going to have a shot now on the Ruprex, so can I get some shots across the map now to help our Petro against that M M Mecklenburg? Okay, this is going to end up being a, a, a brawl for the B cap now. But what I'm seeing at A is not patience there anymore, that's unnecessary hesitancy. Let's continue to give the remaining Petro some help against that Mecklenburg while trying to get off of the island that I'm stuck on now. Once I do get off of here, I can help with the brawl in B. So, props to Petro for finishing off the Mecklenburg and Takahashi for taking down the Ruprecht in B. So we can finish the cap there if we can keep that destroyer out of it. Petro can back off then, we don't need D at the moment. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get a final shot on the Oodaloy, but we have such an advantage now, this appears to be in the bag. Okay, that's it then. Good job, well done. Okay, 76,000 damage, five citadels, which is testament to the German AP. 
which was enough to give us a third place finish, even having only sunk one enemy ship. We didn't get to see the Torps in action, but hopefully you've had a good view of the Rune in action. Thank you for taking the time to view, and goodbye.